the noise to be no nakilala natin in terms of power. Vicar Marciano. Oh. Boy, she's been playing big. Oh yes. For Valley Pure today, Janine Marciano. Chance here for Cherry. Nabor to Dindin. That's all that Dindin needs to have that ball in play. Sansa, para dito kay Nabor na gatasan habang nasa front line itong si Dindin Santiago. Ortiz on the running. Tolentino again! Ties the ball game! She said the last conference she wanted to pick up mentally tough down the stretch. That is for the back. has had a resurgence in the Ocarina. What a finish. Spalios has picked up by Atienza. Valdez against two blockers. Catches the back line. And there it was a push. Now, that's the Alisa Valdez specialty. Makatilik. Ito na nada. Back set. Pianadi! Your power from him, Pianadi. And we could hear you follow as it reached the ground. We've heard her name over and over in today's coverage. The answer. Soltones high up and in, in, in. Soltones, the one. The orange portion of Fire North. Up to it, and this one is in play. Nice reverse. I can sense it. The footwork of Mika Reyes was impeccable on that last play. You know, when Mika is at the front line, she is hard to stop. The last time, the BVL The last time the BVL had a crowd was November 9, 2019. That was when Creamline won the reinforced conference and swept Petrogas two years, three years ago. Now today, we all come back. The fans are here at Volleyball Central as we feature again the Creamline Cool Smashers out for redemption against a team that beat them in the final finals of last year's Open Conference via a comeback. We're talking about the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Yes, it is quarterfinals day one. Officially, this is match 18 on day nine. The Cherry Tigo crossovers, the defending champions going up against the Cream Line Cool Smashers with the return of the fans and a return here at the Phil Oil Flying V Center all live on the one sports that I'm sure you guys are too watching on TV. If you cannot make it here to enjoy the action, well, nandito kami ni Coach Rory Magsano para ihain itong laban na ito para sa inyo. Ako po si Boom Gonzalez. Of course, I inside will still be working this second quarter final match. Now, Coach Ronnie, we know that uh, Jerry Tigo crossovers, the obvious big thing here. No Jaja, but they have proven in last open conference that they are able to come back in a series or in a conference. Like ngayon, kumbaga 1-0 na yung cream line sa kanila. Parang nung finals na, Coach Ronnie. Tama yan. At sa kanilang paniniwala, it will all boil down to the mindset of believing that somehow they can replicate what they were able to do last year. Right. Sa Bacara, Ilocos North. Of course, easier said than done. With the non-appearance of uh, Didin Santiago, rather Jaja Santiago, with the reigning MVP, ng conference at finals. At napakaraming uh, kawalan na sa kanyang uh, hindi pagkakarating dito sa current Open Conference. All right, I did mention earlier, this is the second quarterfinal match earlier, or today. Earlier today, nanalo na ang signal. What does that mean, Coach Ronnie? That win today over Valley Pure. And looking at the draw that we have, from the quarterfinals to the semifinals, we played 
16 matches prior to today's play date, Signal will be awaiting the winner of the series between Petrogas and F2 Logistics. While on the other part of the draw, doon sa kung saan ang may twice to beat Echa ay ang Cream Line at ang Choco Pucho, magkakaalaman kung sino magharap sa other semifinal draw. And then eventually, pagdating sa finals, best of three series po ang pagharapan ng mga teams na papaso. You're looking at Eliza Valdez, their leader of the Cream Line Cool Smashers, who says she is rejuvenated this conference, especially coming after a loss in the last season against Jasmine Abort and the rest of the Cherry Tigo crossovers who came back, of course, in that series down one and then winning the last two, including that incredible five set match in game number three. Let's talk about that team right now. Cherry Tigo, the big difference, as I mentioned, as everybody knows already, Jaja Santiago. But Dintin is there. Mylene Pat is there, both got international experience, extensive international experience in the case of Dindit Pangatlong Saltana niya in uh, international competition. This is still a scary team. Right. They won the last time. They have a six-day rest. Coach Ronnie, maybe a little bit of reconditioning for Mylene and Dindin going into the quarterfinals. Good that you mentioned because si Dindin Santiago si Mylene Pat, they're fresh from their stint in Thailand. Kailan lang nakauwi to eh. Pagod. Meaning practice time, pagod. They needed time to recover, and the best way to recover is coming off a win and getting about a six to seven day rest. Ample preparation. Hopefully, that is enough answer against the offensive might ng kanilang makakaharap. But right now, you're talking about a team bannered by Mylene Paat and Dindin Santiago Manabat. These two combines for about a total of 37 points per match, but they need a third scorer to be able to keep in step with the arsenal of the opposing team. Numbers that will tell you the story why they struggled early on. Hindi sapat na dalawang tao lamang ang magbibigay ng regular na puntos. Kailangan at least tatlo, hopefully apat. And Jasmine Abor will be tasked to carry the playmaker's job. But they need, of course, the contributions of, huwag uh, natin uh, nakalimutan, Rachel Ostero, Shaya Adorador, Laure, for instance. Kung sino ang itutulak ni Coach Meles na tulungan itong dalawang kamador para dito sa Cherry Tigo. Alam mo, Coach, nabanggit mo na rin sila Shaya, sila Rachel. Mike Import Ortiz pa. Mike Ortiz, importante rin para sa kanila yung receiving at yung digging. Of para course. Para mapadali ng konti itong buhay ni Jasmine na board. No because doubt. So that she can set up her attackers against the cream line defense. Okay, speaking of the setter, let's uh, listen to what she has to say going into this match. Um, yung mga tinraining namin, unang-unang mas nag-focus kami sa service kasi dun sa tatlong games namin, yun talaga yung number one na madami kami nag-error. Tapos yun, um, yung atake namin kailangan mas mag- mas mag-communicate pa kami kung ano gusto ba ng spikers ko. Kailangan mabili ko yung gusto nila. Tsaka yung pasa namin, sobrang importante ngayong game. Malaking tulong din yung panalo namin last game kasi syempre mabigat para sa amin yung last two. Nung first and second game namin na natalo kami, so mas napus kami nung last game namin. So ngayon makakatapat namin ulit yung frame line, so mas inaano namin na kailangan mas mag-gel pa kami and mas mag-communicate pa kami sa loob ng board. Kasi sabi ko na frame line yung kalaban namin, one at a time lang talaga kami. Every point sobrang importante, so kahit hindi, hindi kami mag-focus ngayon sa score, mas mag-focus kami kung paano kayo makaka-point, paano kami mas mag-communicate sa loob ng court. And syempre, magtutulong-tulong kami para may panalo namin yung game na to. Tutulong-tulong, yan ang sinasabi ni Jasmine. Nabanggit na namin yung mga pangalan na pwedeng tumulong mamasa kay Jasmine Nabor. Sama mo na rin, of course, si Puting dyan. Importanteng importante uh, going into this match, receiving and digging for Jasmine Nabor. And it's going to be important for them because they're going up against a very good, actually, the best attacking team, <laughs> especially when it comes from an efficiency standpoint. They may not be the best blocking team, but they're very good at digging and receiving, and they're very good in terms of their offense. We're talking about the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Coach they're Ron. very good. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is a three-time PBL champion. Even without the services of Mitch Gumabao, this conference, they have three of the best in terms of attack efficiency. Chris three-headed dragon in terms of offensive arsenal that's proven to be very consistent. 19 points per game para kay Tots Carlos. 12 points per match para dito kay Eliza Valdez. At samantalang itong si Jan Magalanza naman is good for about 11 a game. Put that together, that's about a total of, let me check this, 42 points per contest for this triple threat para dito sa Cream Line Cool Smashers. 
Hindi mo pa naipapaktorin dyan yung kanilang middle blockers na napakaraming mausay. Sato, Panaga, Cell, Domingo also have been uh, playing beautiful music against the reigning best setter na si Gia Morado de Guzman. Now, they obviously have not lost in the conference, right. Coach Ronnie, but if you were to nit nitpick for Creamline, one of their issues would be errors. They average around eight a set also. And this is concerning. They only have 10 blocks the whole conference. That is not one of their strengths, but attacking is. They're at a 36% attacking rate, the best in the league. But that blocking might be tested today against, of course, Din Din and Mylene Pat. But when it comes to offense, eh, matinde ang kanilang nadadala. Of course, led by Baldo, Tots, Carlos, and that girl who we will hear from, Gemma Galanza. Gusto lang din namin talagang uh, makamit yung goal namin. Yun yung mag-champion this season ko. So, talagang ginagawa ko yung best ko para talagang makatulong sa team. And syempre, hindi naman na din ako bata sa team. So, gusto ko talagang uh, mag-level up yung leadership ko. Itong game na to kasi importante din siya para sa prepara preparation din for SEMS din. And syempre, hindi naman namin ganun. Um, kumbaga, Talagang ipupush namin talaga ma-eliminate ma, ma yung charity go this quarterfinals para yung preparation mas mahaba against, uh, para pagpasok ng semifinals. Siguro less error this game. Ayan. And syempre, uh, communication lang uh, to each other. And yung, um, syempre yung puso. Puso sa laban namin ngayong quarterfinals. Ipapaalala lang po namin na sila po ang may twice to beat advantage, Eliza and the rest of the gang, while Din Din Manapat Santiago are looking for, or Santiago Manapat rather, are looking for that one win to extend their lives here in the 2022 Open Conference of the PBL. Those two, of course, have had extensive international competitions. Din Din, twice in Japan, once in Thailand. Eliza, once in Thailand, once in Taiwan. Pareho ng pinanggalingan. Iba ang mga dinaanan. Parehong galing UST, one went to Ateneo, the other to National U. Both are national players, both are decorated players, both are the heart and soul of their respective clubs. And both are going to be playing in front of a raucous crowd here <laughs> at the Volleyball Central as we go to our in-venue announcer to start our match. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Roberto Celso. Second referee, Mr. Erwin Lou Cordero. Let's call on our starting lineup from our cream line, Cool Snappers. Team captain wears jersey number two, Eliza Valdez. At number six, Janet Panaga. Wearing jersey number 12, Julia Melissa Morado de Guzman. At number 13, Celine Domingo. Wearing jersey number 15, Jessica Margaret Galanza. And number 18, Diana May Carlos. Libero, number 11, Kyla Atienza. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. Presenting our defending champions, the Cherry Tigo Crossovers. Team captain wears jersey number four, Jasmine Nabo. At number seven, Mylene Paak. Wearing jersey number 11, Maria Shaya Adorador. At number 16, Aliona Denise Manabat. At number 22, Micah Angela Ortiz. And number 25, Rachel Ann Ostero. Libero, number 23, Ria Beatriz Duremdes. Head coach, Mr. Aaron Velez. This is match number 18, quarter final round. Fans have been waiting for this one. 
for three years, almost three years, <laughs> almost there. Half, half a month, uh, half a year, not three years. That cream like cool smashers yeah. on your screens, the starting lineup, and then the defending champions without Jaja Santiago for this campaign. But uh, Sanay humabol, um, Sanay sa uh, pressure, pero the difference this year is that crowd factor. Coach Ronnie, as an athlete, as a coach, as someone who's been covering sports for a very long time, what does the crowd factor bring into this particular quarterfinal it match? It is really a difference maker. And uh, we talk about uh, the popularity of most of these players and all of these teams. Definitely, pag may tao, papabor yan sa cream line. Pero, may bound din ang Cherry Tigo ngayon. Nakasama nila, but the first point of this match goes to the Cool Smashers, aiming to put early pressure on the defense, of course, of the crossovers. Kung ano man yung sinabi mo, Coach Ronnie, <laughs> I'm sure it is correct. Hindi na kita marinig sa siyawan dito sa loob. It's a good thing. 870 days yeah. na naman nag-antay bago makabalik dito. It's a good thing. It's Para makanood. Yeah. Of course, iba yung experience in Bacara. Ilocos Norte as Pans Panaga sends it to the net, tied one all. That was the last time we played volleyball, of course, during the Ilocos bubble. Before that, it was March of 20, uh, 2020 during the UAAP. Grabe, no? Parang kailang lang, pero ang tagal na tagal din. Ang tay, sa totoo lang. Gia de Guzman sends it over to Dodds Carlos, who's coming off a 28-point performance. Right, the second best in terms of offensive uh, outburst, just behind the 29 points. The double block was late. You mentioned about the fact that blocking is a concern for Cherry Tigo, especially with the absence of the, uh, Jaja Santiago. Mm -hmm. They had 10 kill blocks, Laban's uh, Lady Troopers. They're hoping to reprise that against a very good offensive team. And another point. At the moment, I'll just let the crowd of speak course. for itself, right? Coach Ronnie said they've missed it anyway as Greenline gets it to 3 to 1. Okay, blocking will be a, a concern because, again, 10 blocks in the open conference. But yung digging and receiving yung backline defense has to be solid. Has for to be Greenline, constant. Right? Of course, to be led by uh, Buding Dorendes. As Santiago Manabat scores her first point, sign of good things to come. And, and that will be. And that will be the the factor that I'm going to be looking at, Coach Rani. Isa sa mga kasama natin, si Basir Ramer, nandito. Ano sa si Justin? Is right Isa sa mga closest oh. friends ni Aliza Valdez. Correct. Right behind us here. Part of the, bahay kasi yan eh. Part of the fans. Coach, I wanted to really emphasize that point about the blocking and then the receiving. So, Weakness ng, ng cream line so far ah, in the three games is the blocking. In receiving, they're only number five in that. Right. In that. Ano, Pero, tapos sa, sa digging, wala sila sa, sa top five. So how how do you compensate for that? Well, number one, I think Kyla Chance is playing well. Misleading your numbers. Okay. Kasi konti lang nila run nila. Eh. Lahat may ikle. Eh. Pero ito hindi may ikle ito. Mahaba ang palo pero check ball lang may tatawag. And the count right now. Up next. Coach, pinalitan yung tawag. Correct. Kaya tinawag ang check ball. Mahaba yung palo pero may check ball. In that back row play. And may lean daw. That's a three point. This is a three point lead for the Cole Smashers. Every point right now, especially in the first set, very critical. Lalong lalo na para dito sa Cher Cherry Tigo. Who has the twice to be disadvantaged. Ito, Coach, ah, yung ginawa ni Coach Aaron na pagpasok ni Rachel Ostero no last uh, last game, two games. Medyo last last two couple games, of oh. games. Nagpo nag ngayon. Even dun sa una, na natalo sila, pero na, na idala nila ng five sets against F2, di ba? Tama Nakita yan. Nakita mo na yung diferensya. Yes. Ano yung nadala ni Rachel Ostero dito sa, sa laro? The backline defense. Her enthusiasm, her activity. Kasi, of course, offensively, EJ Laure, nabigat ang bala niyan. But eventually, what they need is how to support yung kanilang top two scorers na si Paat at itong si Santiago. Another check ball called against Cherry Tigo. Back to a three-point lead for the Coast Smashers who have gone really long and deep except for the off-speed winner 
from Todd Skylis earlier. And we all know who's about to serve with that crowd reaction. Number two, Eliza Valdez. Over received, a chance here for Creamline. And Ted Domingo with the headshot on Buding and the apology right after. A perfect receive, a perfect set, and a perfect kill. Former teammates in a collision course, so to speak, for Poitico Smashers. Over received, and they pay dearly. Bat against two. Transition play coming. Still alive, still in play. Santiago Manabat. Reverse set to Tots. And the rallies. And the smartness. And the ball distribution of Gia Morado de Guzman again doing wonders for their offense. Five point lead at the start of the first set going to our first technical timeout. We cannot hear anything and that is a great thing here <laughs> in the PVL 2022 Open Conference on One Sports. The PBL 2022 Open Conference is also available on Smart Giga Play. Let's go to Ai Tinsai. Ai? I asked Fino Malaysia Valdez with regards to her goals for the quarterfinals as Capitana, and she said she aims to be the glue na magdidikit sa kanyang teammates on and off the court oh. para bumuhan ang natural. The chemistry in the court following the instructions of Coach Sherwin Menezes, the cool smashers will definitely go back to the basics, polish all the skills, especially their blockings for the first game of the quarterfinals. Let me ask the panel who you think can dominate this rematch of last year's finals. Your thoughts? And dami agad natin iniisip. Trabahuin lang muna natin. Isa-isay natin. Ngayon kunin natin karga tayo sa block, ha? Oh, sa tulong muna tayo. Cherry! Anda! Sa block, sa block! Cochera now facing the biggest deficit so far at six. What has gone right for Creamline? What has gone wrong, Coach Roddy? For again, uh, Cherry. Once again, reception problems for Cherry Tigo. Backline defense. And they get a reprieve after that service error that has come from uh, Eliza Valdez. Ang bigat ng ball distribution ni Gemma Galanza. Bihirang bumalik yung bola dito sa Cool Smashers. And that's a challenge para dito sa crossovers to be better defensively. defensively. Para magamit nila yung kanilang uh, double weapon na si Manabat at si Mylin pa. Coach, I have a question uh, which is kind of related to the crowd earlier. Um, in the long rallies, who has the advantage? I feel it will be the crossovers. That simply and means why? their defense is biting. That simply means they're keeping the ball alive. Okay. If they're able to transition better or keep that ball in play while the cool smashers are serving, it sabi nagkakaroon ng rally. Kumakapit ang depensa, kaya nilang umupensa, kaya mo bumalik. Does the crowd become a factor in terms of palitan, di ba? Bawat palo, sumisigaw ang tao, malakas ang sigaw sa cream line. Does that put pressure on a team like Cherry Tigo? Honestly, when you're inside, honestly, hindi mo naririnig yan. Unless you have no total focus na right. pumapasok sa'yo okay. yung tao. Okay. Otherwise, you only hear your teammates, you only see your opponents. There's a certain calmness inside you, okay. and you just focus on what you prepared for. That is how I see the players. That is how I see the game on all levels. On all levels. Yan ang sinasabi ni Coach Ronnie. In the meantime, Dindin, Santiago Manabat, unable to get that first ball. Balik sa ani mga abante. By the way, Tots Carlos, four out of four on attacks so far here 
in the first set. It is 11 to 5. Said Domingo, who now has made the starting lineup. That is Irisa Sato. Right. Yung, yung dyan, ano? She has delivered. Very consistent as well. Back set. That's in. They only, need the points from Mylene Pat. Only the third attempt for Mylene Pat. One out of three coming off a big performance after averaging only eight points in the first three matches. Even against the double block, goes long. Able to get to the midpoint of zone five and zone six. First match, he came off the bench to score 10 points. And then the second match, dalawa na lang nang score niya after that. And then, of course, as you mentioned, the 20 point explosion in the last uh, match in their lone win in the preliminaries. Ang kanyang scoring output ay 10 points, 5 points, 9 points, at 20 points. Ayun, 5 and 9, that's right. Pero itong si Malabat now with her second point on that over reception coming from the Cool Smashers. Looking for a good scoring run. Si Din Din yung nag 2 points. Tama. Sa, no, no? Si Din Din naman, 3. 3 points. 3, no. 29 at 17. Ang kanyang uh, scoring production. Nabor opens up. Ito importante. Yan. Makakuha sila ng uh, puntos. mga puntos dito kay Shaya. Kailangan nila ng third consistent scorer. Normally, ang pinaka-consistent dyan ay si Mike Ortiz. May paambon-ambon kay Ostero at kay Shaya Adorador. Now, they're back in the hunt. Down only by three here in the first yeah, set. That six-point lead is cut in half. 11-8 on a 3-0 run. Bump. Ang receive natin, bump lang. Apo. Kasi nasa gitna siya, di ba? Apo. Hatid natin kay Gia. Alright, coach. Tapos pagka medyo napunta yung bola sa harapan kanina, oh, mahina yung yeah. bola, walang kumover. Recover, yeah. Recover, yeah. 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 yeah! Yeah! Green line! Okay. 11 to 8 is the score. You know, funny, we, we say that they need a third score. In the finals last year against Dreamline, Cherry Tigo basically only had two players who were scoring in double figures and still won the series. Kasi naman ang bigat nung ini-score nung dalawa. Ah, like in the last, yung, in, block, oh, in, in the last game, Din Din Santiago Manabat had 32 yes. points and Jaja had 26. Totally different situation. So, you know? Galanza scores in that cross-court attack. Stops great. the 3-0 run. Oh, great time out by uh, Coach Sherwin well, there. Started with that good first ball. Courtesy of Eliza Valdez was really matured and developed that ability to make sure that that pass is well executed to the setters para maka-atake ng maayos. The Guzman goes to Mylene. Ortiz. Dodge again. Bumalik. And a set for cream line. Atienza will send it to Gemma. Oh. Targets the outside hand of Jasmine Abor. Even with a high ball set. Galanza is able to score off the block two straight points for Gemma Galanza. 11 points per match for the one-time PBL MVP. The pride of San Pedro Laguna who comes out of the Adamson Soaring Falcons volleyball program. Back to a five-point lead on a 2-0 counter para sa Cool Smashers. A perfect timeout by Coach Sherwin there producing two points. Nabor, the back attack from Santiago. Galanza. The block delayed by Ortiz. It is again a torador, but that ball is picked up. So a chance here for the defending champions. And they go back to Shia. Why not? Soft spike. Does it work? They send it over to Tots, and Tots puts it away. At Paniksaanin, mga bate, 14 8 for Creamline. It's simple lamang a moral, lesson, moral lesson dito. If you get to transition, you have to be able to put that ball away and score. Because in the return play, sa dami ng bala ng full smashers, masasaktan ka talaga ng paulit-ulit. Back to a six-point lead. 14-8. Saan ko tayo nagpapadala lang sa referee? Pati dun sa calls, ha? Ngayon, maiksi lang. Kasi nandito na yung block. Maiksi, ha? Maiksi. Reminder lang, ha? Reminder, ha? Setter out natin kapag wala tayong pass, ha? Let's go, let's go! Jerry! Lead is at biggest at six as you look at Mighty Pat and the rest of Jerry Tigo crossovers again. They lose today, and that's it for their campaign. We're going to have a new champion in this PVL 2022 Open Conference. So they need to win to extend their lives here. This is at least three reception errors already. 
para dito sa charity goal. This is the biggest advantage for Queen Line in the first set. 4-0 run. A counter run after the 3-0 run of Cherry as Mrs. De Guzman gets us started for this rally. And they target Shia Adorador two times and two reception errors for Shia. Let's look at that again. Sulit sa ang inyong panonood kasama ang Sulit TV Entertainment Sports News and Information. Nandito lahat, mapapanood ang TV5, One Sports, One PH at lahat ng free-to-air channel. Siksik na, digital at malinaw pa. Sa halagang 780 pesos lang, tumawag lang. So 0288885555 or maaari rin pumunta sa piling authorized stores nationwide. Mabibili rin sa Shopee at Lazada. Bisitayin ang Sulit TV Facebook page para sa iba pang mga detalye. Kaya ano pang iniintayin nyo? Bili na ng Sulit TV, powered by TV5. And uh, add to cart. No? <laughs> Sige. Diretso. Check out na. No. Sayang. Ko na yan, sayang. Eh, sayang. Yeah. Automatic. In the meantime, that uh, technical timeout gave Jerry Tigo a chance to breathe and get a point back. They're down seven here, 16 to 9. Galing sa service error ni Jem. Magalaan sa yung puntos nila. Unfortunately, in the counter... The Cool Smashers will prevail once again in transition. Pag bumalik kay Gia de Guzman ng bola, chances are nalilito ang blockers ng Cool Smash ng uh, Charitigo. Six out of seven na to, si Tots. Bawal pumalso ah. Bawal sumablay. 8.8 ties the biggest and the largest for the Cool Smashers here in set one. Ortiz. Tries to go to the middle, but Gemma was there. A chance for Eliza to push it. Dump ball. Does it work? Wow. That one works. I was about to say, Michael Ortiz, doubling her effort. Single block, getting the job done nearly twice. But in the third opportunity, para dito, the goal smashers, Tots, with averaging nearly 20 a game. Yeah, 19.3, shows us. Na kahit siya yung pangalawa sa pinakabata sa line ng tato, nais din niya magsilbi sa national team eventually and also serve the country. Incidentally, some players here seeing action for the Philippines in the forthcoming Southeast Asian Games in Hanoi, Vietnam. Siyan si Gemma Galanza, kasama yan. 18 to 10. Alaysa Valdez din. Lalaro na naman sa Southeast Asian Games. 10 serving 18 here. It is Baika Ortiz. At Yenza with... The first ball. Manabat on a ad lib play yes. out of system and it gets the point and cuts the lead down to seven. Uh, just uh, making something out of nothing. Bump set coming from the board. Beating the double block, scoring down the line, getting to point number 11, still down though by seven. Martis sends it over to Atienza once again. There is a reason why Tots Carlos is the number one attacker in the league right. with the 44.14% accuracy rate. Right now, she is at 8 out of 9 attacks for wow. the 8-point lead. She was 27 of 48. Let me correct myself. 8 out of 10, not 8 80%. out of 9. Sorry, 8 out of 10 <laughs> na pala. 27 of 48. Doon sa huling panalo nila in that 5-set win. Laban sa Petrogas. 28 points, 16 digs, 4 receptions para kay Kaloy. Pero ito, Charity Eagle, nakinabang na naman sa isang service error 
ng Cool Smashers. Yung binabanggit mo na mga error sila per set, karamihan doon sa service error. Yep. That's eight a set on the average para sa cream line. Mababa, not over for Eliza Valdez. So that lead down to six. Miss hit coming from Eliza. Down to six. As you mentioned, Kanina, the closest they were able to get to was when the count was pegged at 11-8. Since that oh. time, it has been an 8-5 counter run para sa Cool Smashers. That will Miss drop hit. in. Right. You'll take it. Those are the free points that you need. First service ace for the crossovers. Jasmine Abor trying to keep her team alive. Look at that flat serve. Patay na patay yung bola. Sakto. The play does not work, but it's saved. And a chance ball dito para sa Cherry Tigo. Nabor goes to Ostero, and Ostero scores. And the difference the last couple of games, she's one and one in those games. The lead is down to four. Coach Sherwin will call a timeout at the 15 19 mark. Let's listen in. Si, si, si Tots ang iikot oh, pag may receive. Okay, ha? Pwede, balik 4. Balik 4 na. Lai, may iwan ka na dito. Yes, coach. Magupahin yes. mo na yan. Yes, coach. Kasi yes, hindi ka mo kailangan ka sa mga service. Pag walang receive, react agad. Yes, coach. Let's go. Hey, green line! Happy! So we said that cream line has a tendency to commit errors. Right. Lalo, lalo na sa service na. errors. Doon nakakabalik eh. And yet, they are the third best team in terms of aces, right. number of aces, but dun, yun din eh, di ba? Ano sila eh, high risk, high reward Tama. sila, Coach Ronnie. You know? Sabi, kargahan yung serve. Correct. Eh. Pero kailangan ipasok din. Okay, speaking of kargadong serve, ito ang nakakatulong para sa Cherry Tigo humabol dito. Some free points, some cheap points, courtesy of Jasmine Abor. Second service for Jasmine Abor scores stood earlier at 16-8. Since that time, it has been an 8-3 surge generated by Labor, Ostero, Manabat, and Mylin Pa. Well, this team is not going to go away, Coach Ronnie. Oh, oh, hindi talaga. Overset ng konti, but it still works for San Domingo. The adjustment coming from San Domingo. Her confidence is sky high. Hmm? Suddenly, she's a different player, a much, much better player, can give you consistently at least five to six points, but more than that, her presence in terms of net defense. At pwede mong puntahan uh, as a fourth legitimate scorer para dito sa Cool Smashers. Carlos with that high ball. Puting perfect first ball. Ostero sends it back. Chance here for Cherry Tigo. Shia from behind. Labor again. Kay Tin din naman binigay. And Smart. a campfire built in the middle of that cream line defense. Sometimes it's not all about power. Reading the defense, eluding the floor defense as well. On this return play, over the double block. Malabat scores once again, lead down to three once more. Second best scorer in the league. And she doesn't score on all power all the time. Ito si Din Din, alam na niya yan. Veterano na yan, naglaro na yan sa import. Open up, Eliza cross court. Eliza might not be the leading scorer right now para sa Cool Smashers, but when you need a vital point, you're talking about one of the best closers in a match. And right now, it's closing time here in the first set for Valdez and the rest of the Cool Smashers. She told me a couple of days before the season opened that she is more motivated than ever dahil ang sakit daw nung buong pandemya ang naghintay. Tapos, yung unang balik, etalo. You know she's a competitor. You know she's humble. You know she's nice. She loves Din Din. She loves Jaja. Nakita natin yung mga pictures of her hugging, you know, her good friends from high school. But that doesn't take away the competitiveness of her. And she said she was a painful loss. Na yun yung unang balik from the pandemic. They were a set away from winning yeah. their fourth PVL crown. Kaya nga sa kanya parang she gives so much credit to Cherry Tigo. She says, pero para sa kanya nakawala yung uh, finals na yon. As Mylene Pat gets wow. it. Look at that spin, beating Ella de Jesus. That last sequence. 
Going to zone five. Karandang down to four na naman. Oh, Karandang is in the ball game. It's exactly <laughs> the same thing that did it. Santiago Manaba did right in the middle. You see the push, you see the touch. And you see the fight delivered well, so well by Eliza Valdez. Back to a five point lead and only two points away from building a one set lead yeah. against a very game. Sherman Tigo crossover. Service specialist Phil Kenglet Cayetano comes in. Dindin will move out. We all know what this is for, a former libero. Right. For the UP Fighting Maroons who played many positions as a open and a libero, and si Justin Doro, and Jan para sa depensa. At sa kanya kaga di binigay. Sorry, kay Shaya binigay. Paat. Naiakyat yung bola. Kalansa puts it away. Wow. I thought Mylin Paat would deliver another point for the crossovers. But then again, in transition, Galanza has been very effective after the midpoint of the first set. Explodes once again. Six set points. Hawak dito ng Cool Smashers. They go to Doro. Long ball is out. It's long. And Cream Light Cool Smashers are two sets away from advancing to the semifinals. They win this one. 25-18, the defending champions are on the ropes. This is the PBL 2022 Open Conference Quarter Finals on One Sports. But, malaking difference, of course. Paulit ulit namin sila sabi, walang jaja Santiago. So kailangan talaga they buckle down, magtulungan. Especially right now, Creamline seems focused and they seem like a fluid uh, attacking machine, Coach Ronnie. Well, uh, they've learned their lesson the hard way after losing to the Coast Smashers in the finals of the previous conference. But right now, this is a different story. Crossover started slow. They made a big comeback. The four. Almost had the crossovers, really tying the match. They were only behind 19-16 after an 8-3 run. But eventually, Phil Kenglet will help out the Cool Smashers finish the first set with a 6-2 surge to be able to close out and win by 7 points here in the first set. You know, as you look at the numbers, they got again, yes, the uh, opponent errors, mas marami sa cream line, but Nabawi, parang bawi, may kota, may sobra pa dun sa attack. So, ano? mabigat regalong puntos yung kanilang uh, pagkakamali. Two service errors para dito, o two reception errors para dito sa Cheritigo, pero sa kabila, at least tatlo. And eventually, those six points helped out itong uh, Cheritigo na makabalik at makadikit halos at makatabla laban sa Bulls match. And that's why, to a certain degree, Creamline is not worried too much about the errors that they commit because they offset that with just the number of attacks and the efficiency of the attacks. Right. That's another important point about the cream line Which is smashers. not an easy thing to do. Back inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center. Again, with the crowd, with us here. 
for the first time in almost three years. And this won't be... Wala, walang uh, ibibigay this time. <laughs> and uh, Tots is just uh, hoping and uh, praying na mabigyan ng uh, check ball. Pero Bobby Celso says, nope. <laughs> Eight of the first 25 points. The Cold Smashers galing sa kanilang number one scorer, the 23-year-old Tots Carlos. Calanza with a perfect first ball. She gets it back, cross court. Beautifully placed. 12.3 points a game para kay Gemma Galanza. We got. Bigat. Ang bigat ng galaw, ang bigat ng bola. Ang bigat ng palo. <laughs> ang bigat ng serve. Ang bigat din ang serve. At ang bigat ng reaksyon ng mga fans dito. Uh, for the cream line, cool smashers. They look, you know, it's... Going back to that conversation that I had with Eliza Valdez and I asked her about the team. Hey, you know, not everybody's been talking about all the other teams because of the changes that they made. They, sabi niya, they're weaponizing yung kanilang chemistry and familiarity. Yung familiarity. Uh -oh. But the other thing is she feels this year, napansin niya dun sa training bubble as Eliza is going to score after that one. Napansin niya daw, parang may... The, the, the loss really lit a fire in the bellies of her teammates. Nakita niya nung nag-training sila. Even if it was just five weeks, she said, parang may koting uh, uh, angas dahil dun sa sakit na nangyari nung, nung finals, uh, Coach Ron. Five weeks of training, uh, of having bubble training, is not easy. Very, very hard, actually. Lalong-lalo na, ang pinanggalingan mo, masakit na pagkatalo. And I think that has fueled their desire to train harder and better and be better for this current Open Conference. Good rally here! And wow. Santiago Manaban is just rejected by Panaga with one hand, basically her fingertips on that soft spike, on that rolling ball. Look at this last sequence. Manaba tried to delay, but Panaga, perfect timing. Hindi niya inunahan, inabangan niya. And it's now a three-point lead para dito sa Cool Smashers after that nice offensive block. For what is our score right now? Dindin Santiago Manabat against Eliza Valdez. The revenge tour, the redemption tour is on for Creamline and they're up a set and up three points here in set number two. But receiving, gets it back. Unable to put it away, that defense working. De Guzman trying to look for that open spot. Dindin is checked. Bading, bading balik kay Dindin, pumalik ang bola. But back to Dindin. Ostero. Pahirap pa ng puntos. Pahirap pa ng puntos para kay Ganong kahirap. Digo. Ganong kahirap pumuntos para dito sa crossovers. But it has to be that way. A long rally that they have to really convert on multiple attacks. From Paat. From Manabat. This time from Astero. Hindi mahulugan ng bola. Ang depensa ng Cool Smashers. Lead down to two para sa cream line. Oh. That's painful, giving away free points. You want to get free points, not give them away. And you want to stay close as much as possible. Especially after what happened in that first set. Oh, oh number two in scoring, Dindin Santiago Manaba. It's Coach uh, O and Coach Mona. Watching closely. Uh, the Choco Mucho, you'll uh, check them out tomorrow. Pagpapatuloy ng ating uh, quarterfinals. Coach, again, I will go back to that conversation with Eliza Valdez. I was around two days before we opened the conference. If you remember last year, when I asked her a specific question, who do you think in your team improved the most? Naabangan namin, she said it was Tots Carlos. And Tots Carlos came off the bench, even in the final, scored 22 right. points pa nga in the last game 
Sabi ko this year, gusto ko ibalik yung tanong ulit. Sino tingin mo? Parang nag-hesitate siya. Ayaw niya sabihin dahil ayaw niya bigyan ng pressure. Pero siguro pwede ko na sabihin, Coach Ronnie. Pwede, kasi pwede na. Quarterfinals na. She said it was said Domingo. Abangan daw natin this year. At ito na, nakikita natin, Coach Ronnie. Eliza seen it all. They've been together every day prior to the start of the competition. She knows the in and outs of her teammates and how the team has gone. Kita daw niya sa practice eh. Correct. From day zero up to the last day before they went to the bubble competition. And right now, this is a five-point lead, the biggest margin here in the second set. Offense again in full arsenal. And full throttle para dito sa full smashers. Sabi mo nga, she's seen it all. Pati yung mga sinabi niyang gumaling, nakikita natin. Tots Carlos, Seth Domingo, all contributing to the six-point lead in the second set. 8-2 is our score. Back inside this rocking Phil Oil Flying V Center. One Sport, by the way, is available for free on Signal Play. One Sports Plus is available on Signal Play Premium for 75 pesos a month. We go to Alexis Tinsai for this report. Priority ng maraming players ang manalo, pero ayon kay Mylene Pat with 20 points and 14 spikes last game, priority niya ang pagkakaisa ng team nila given their miscommunications. Nakita sa previous games ng Cherry na kailangan nila maramdaman yung bawat isa. As an ate, Mylene reminds Cherry to have composure para di mabigla sa kalaban at magampanan ang role sa bawat isa. Let's turn back to this service by Rachel Ostero. Thank you, Alexis. Rachel Ostero, as she mentioned, three Serving eight. Galanza, perfect first ball. Nice pick up there by Ostero. Oh! And the blocking, this time working for Seth Domingo and Tots Carlos to the delight of the Green Line Army. At least three offensive blocks already para dito sa Gold Smashers here in the second set. That's three of their first nine points coming from their First line of defense. Alam mo, zero ang kill blocks nito, ha? Dun sa first set. Yeah. Hindi talaga nila strength, eh, no? Pero, timely. <laughs> Micah will serve it. Or set it, rather. But! Somebody touched the net. Right. And it's said who scraped the net, according to Erwin Cordero, our second referee, so the lead is down to five. He scored it only earlier at 4-2. The two points sa Kalaman for the Cold Smashers. And then a four-point run generated by multiple offensive blocks by Punks Panaga. And then, of course, the eruption of Eliza Valdez early here in the second set. But sends it out. Margin for error when you're down by set in this match and you're trying to survive is kind of slim. They survived one knockout match after defeating the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers in their final match, talking about the charity crossovers, looking to reprise what they did and live and fight another day. Pangalawang service error para sa Cherry Tigo. Ang Cherry, ang cream line naman, nakakalima na. And a point of another, was that a net, net touch, touch, Coach? Sorry? Coming from uh, Domingo as well. Second one in the set for Sel Domingo. Coach Sherwin Meneses, who now full-time took care of them in the bubble, the training bubble, full-time coaching. Taking care of Creamline Cool Smashers. And Eliza said, it's also nice to have a, as much as she loves Coach Tai, obviously she won championships with him. Pero iba pa rin daw yung meron kang physical coach with them during the training bubble. Totoo na, naman. Yun na yung pinakikinggan. As Rewarded, we look at this. and he has delivered. One two play coming from uh, Gia Morato to Guzman. Perfect dump, one of the highest scoring setters that we have in the competition. The reigning best setter, by the way, 
Gia Morado de Guzman, six pointed once again, cool smashes. Over received. Easy pickings for Pans. Sel Domingo scored a total of four points in the first set. Managa scored four points here in the second set. On two kill blocks. And this type of a of an attack. The Retro Sakanya winning that play. Laban K Jasmine Labor. The biggest lead. Stands right now for the Coast Smashers. A seven point advantage. As uh, Palita ng tao dito, Coach A will finally put in EJ Laure. Who was a starter early on. Yes. Sa panimula ng open conference. But again, now the blocking working. Celine Domingo, Gemma Galanza, Banks Panaga, all contributing to this biggest lead of the match. It is Gemma that time covering Mike Ortiz. Eight points, 13 to 5, a determined look on the Cream Line Cool Smashers right now. Now, the last time these two teams met was in the finals, obviously. Game number three. Risa Sato had 14 points, Galanza had 14 points, Tots led with 22, Eliza Valdez had 17. It's really a collective effort, although they lost that one because, again, the monster effort of both <laughs> Dindin and Jaja, especially in that fifth set. Pero, kita mo talaga, hindi ba uubusa ng opensa itong cream line? Kung opensa lang pag-uusapan. E ngayon, nagpapakita pa ng depensa sa net. Tama yan. Na, nagiging opensa rin. Offensive blocks generated by the Cool Smashers with Miley Pat able to score a point from lead down to seven for the Cool Smashers. Coverage by Eliza. Gemma sends it back. Nabor goes out to Dorog, too soft. De Guzman to Tots. Tots gets it off the block. And somehow Justin Dorog needs to take her chances. We're given an opportunity. To score, you have to try harder because of the things return place. The sound of that hit coming from Tots Carlos says it all. A booming point once again delivered by Tots Carlos, which is double figures, I believe, for the Cool Smashers. Balik sa walo, ang abante. The ball. Paat didn't like the set. It's not over, says Papi Celso. So four touches. That's no. when we thought this was going to be a set that's going to be a little tight after a 4-2 start. Eh, biglang kumawala na naman ang pabilis ang Cool Smashers dahil kay Punks Panaga at sa depensa ng Creep Line. So the lead now is at 9. That is the highest. Nabor to Dindin. Not the set she likes. Straight down the pipe and straight back to their court. Checked at the net. Finally, an offensive block para sa Charity Go. Courtesy of Rachel Ostero. They need more of that. They need to be able to read better the ball distribution of Gia de Guzman. While on the flip side, Nabor has to do better in terms of setting up the rest of her teammates. This time, Pa closes right. the door on Todd's Carlos there to cut the lead down to seven. Biggest leads to the nine. Offense not working. You have to work triply harder on defense, and that's what Pa did. We had a team best four blocks in that uh, three set win over uh, Lady Troopers. Chance ball. EJ, Jasmine, Tindin. They saved by the defense. The pickup by De Guzman. Wow. Left-handed get by Dindin. Silapada began ng chance ball of Green Line. On the counter, Galanza puts it away. And because Panaga is a double threat right now, that opened that isolation play para dito kay Galanza. Pumihit lang si Panaga, sumama yung isang blocker. That left Galanza wide open for this. Down the line hit. And here's another thing. When you look at that slow-mo again, her body facing yes. the middle, but the attack and the strike going down the line 
16 to 8. It is still cream line. Fully alive champions for life. Exciting na ang mga laban sa pagbabalik ng UAP. Panorin ang UAP Season 84 Men's Basketball during Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Live sa One Sports and sa UAP Varsity Channel. Available Signal TV Channel 263 HD and on Signal Play. Boom Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Magsanok for One Sports. As Mylene Pat sends that long and gives... Again, Dreamline, another nine-point lead right now at eight. Or make that 17, serving eight. This was the part of uh, the first set wherein they were able to come back. Meron silang magandang scoring run. Let's see if they'll be able to do that, but right now, threatening to break away here in set two. Sila Gemma Galanza and the rest of the Bull Smashers. Over-receive. No, no problem, yan. And now the biggest lead of the match na to, no? So, come on, coach. Sampune. Double-digit advantage. Let's look at that last serve once again. Lauren over reception. Straight to. Was that Panaga once again? Panaga again. Daming bala. Creamline wins today. They go into the semifinals right away. You know, it makes me wonder, Coach Ronnie, if my team Pat is already experiencing, and I don't mean she doesn't need me to defend her or make excuses for her, but. It makes me wonder if she's already starting to feel a little bit of burnout. She, she told me she hasn't stopped playing since July. And all, all her rest since July till the opening of the PVL Open Conference was 12 days. Five of those 12 yung consecutive, five pa lang, dun sa 12 over July till now, ang kanyang uh, pahinga at uh, pagkiki, seeing her family and all that. So I don't know if that is a factor in terms of her game, I guess, dipping. Of course, there are expectations when you become an import already. Oh, and and the, you become a best scorer right. in the, in the uh, league that, that you played That was about in. Uh, a week before yeah. we started. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fatigue is always a concern. No? Lalong lalo na. Hindi mo kontrolado yung schedule. Eh. But somehow you'll try to find ways. And they had uh, time to rest and prepare for this matchup. Ang pinakamalaking drawback talaga is the absence of Jaja Santiago. As we take a look at this last play, Panaga once again delivers. Panaga now has a total of seven points. Yep. This is this is a demolition job here in the that. second set right now. And balik si Phil Kainlet Cayetano to serve. She served the last two points of set number one. And she continues to do well from that deck. But again, this time... Gets the score to cut the lead down to 10 again. Pat finally beats the double block. Mylin Pat after the first set, only with two points. Mylin Pat aiming to deliver more. We know that she has what it takes to carry this team on her shoulders. She had five 20 point games in Thailand. They didn't score her night. 27 point career high. 174 all in all in uh, two rounds. And on cue, she gets that one not to touch fast, the line. Not too fast, a smiling Pat. Labor connecting with Pat, two in a row. Started out with this nice floor defense. And then on that return play, attacking the smaller blocker. First Filipino volleyball player to win an individual award in this generation of volleyball players, of course, he, Mylene Pat. As she continues to score here. Three straight. Three straight. Para sa Bani Pangasinan native. Good service coming from uh, good serve coming from Rachel Ostero. Lead down to eight from a high of eleven. Rachel Ostero. Good serve. Kalanza in hit it. Oh, napako yung pa. 
Nipaat, hindi na pulot yung bola. And another strong attack from the former Lady Maroon. The ball was low down by the block. But the coverage was late. The coverage did not come. And the nine-point lead once again has come into play para dito sa Cool Smashers. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to call a let here as Mylene. Did she hit a teammate or did she hit the banister the, of the the net? Yun ang hindi ko nakita. Nakita ko lang yung, uh, niya, yung, oh, yung expression niya. niya. Exactly. Kaya tinigil agad ang ating uh, game official. Uh, Erwin Cordero, our second referee. Let's look at it here. I think it's a momentum. Ay, you, no, no. It's the left ankle that hit the banister which forced her forced her to roll that ankle just as we were talking about the fact that she has been playing so much. And she says, thumbs up. It wasn't a full roll, but it was still a roll, uh, Coach Ronnie and uh, Mylene here. Sa akin, hindi ka naman babagsak kung hindi mo mararamdaman yung sakit eh. Right, Eliza, Val Eliza Valdez checking on her. Good sportsmanship, of course. They open up to Baldo. Nabor, ahabol, oh. pero si Durendes nandun din, so chance ball for Cream Line. Running attack. Good coverage there by Tots. Good instinct by Ortiz. Galanza puts it away. Right now, too many weapons for the Cold Smashers. We have Domingo. And Coach Ronnie, the more than 2,223 people here. And maybe pa parang hindi ganun ang tunog. Oh, eh. Maybe 70% will be maybe 80% for Green Line. What do you think? Most probably right? along that level. Pumutok dun sa paalo ni Gemma Galanza which gives them another 10-point lead. Tulak. Sakto kay Nabor. Balik kay Paat. Paat launches. That is out for Tots. A rare miss. <laughs> rare <laughs> overhit Tots coming Carlos. from uh, Tots Carlos. After she was about 8 of 10 earlier in the first set. The first double digit there right now. For both teams combined, I believe it's si, uh, Tots Carlos. Bot serving. That serve is low. Ikai ka ng ponte, Coach Ronnie, but... Nararamdaman, no? Tinitiis lang niya. Probably wants to cut it out. Alam mo, tinitiis lang niya. So, habang nakadepensa sa likod, ilalabas muna ni Coach Aaron. Lalagay niya muna si Arian Layo, who also had a really good game in their third match, or second match, rather, for Cherry Tigo. Clips the net. Pasang pasa ni Sen Domingo. That has been the story of the second set so far. The blocking efficiency of the Cold Smashers from the start to this part of the second set. And this is a commanding 11 set point lead para dito sa cream line. And another out of system play and another gift given. To Creamline. Balik naman dito kay Ortiz. Ubikot! Oh, nice. Uy, ang ganda ng palo. Creamline with five blocks so far in this game. Karanihan which dyan. Dito nangyari lahat. Yes, oh. and which is a big number considering that uh, they've only had ten throughout three matches. Again, they had time to prepare. They had time to make sure they will not suffer the same fate. Tsaka, Coach, you've been part of many teams. You know that it's... You get better. You Your your goal is to get better as the tournament exactly. goes, di ba? Lanza, extension, pounding the pavement with that full swing, which we have to see again. Look at it. It's so nice. We're watching it twice. An emphatic end to the second set.
as the Cream Line Cool Smashers are a set away from the semifinals of your PBL 2022 Open Conference. offense for the Cold Smashers at ang pinakamabigat yung blocking na lumabas na. And that's double trouble right now for the crossovers. Dinagdagampan. Madagdagan pa. Now once again, still Lakas the same pace. Lakas na ako pensa o dumidepensa pa. Dumidepensa. Mas masipag pa. And at the right time. Again, the quarterfinals are starting to ramp up. You know, Coach, I had this conversation with a, a friend yesterday about it's a totally different sport, but it's, it can apply in, in, in any sport. I was talking about basketball, and sometimes you see a team, when they have a, that, like, that look of focus and being locked in, parang yan ang nakikita natin dito sa laro na to so far. Gutom na gutom eh. Oh, yeah, saka, isipin mo ba naman, fate will have it that they will meet again in this situation. In the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals. The chance to get redemption. Yes, no matter how much you deny it. The back oh, of the minds of the sure. players and, and even the management Nakalu for sure. Nakalusot pa dahil kumbaga para sa kanila, they were ahead. Pan Panalo na eh. Oo, parang ganun. Sa kaiinan lang, nakakapag-champion pa sa PV. Right. Ilang teams lang yan. Uh, Jerry Tigo, of course, setting the record as the very first professional Correct. volleyball team champion. Napor, having said all of that, Coach Ronnie, we've been around volleyball long enough to know <laughs> That it ain't over until oh, it's no, over. Of course. <laughs> That's still alive. Nobody wins in two sets. Right, exactly. And if there's any team that knows it, it is Cherry Tigo. Chance ball. Nabor opens up to EJ. EJ twists. Just not strong enough on that attack. Putting. That's double touch. Ang itatawag kay uh, yeah. Gia. Sabi nga ni Coach Ronnie, pagpahabaan ng rally, pabor sa Cherry Tigo, and they get that point there. 2-0. This, this is the first time. And Coach, the biggest huh? lead for oh. the crossovers. Uh, the best start so far in the three sets that, in the first two sets, compared to the first two sets, rather. Paat led Cherry Tigo with seven points. Ostero had four. Manabat had three, which is concerning if you're Din Din, especially coming from great performances. We'll talk more about her in a bit. Creamline with 10. 
Galanza with 10, Valdez with 6. Your thoughts on Din Din? I was about to say for them to pull through, at least a 20 point game for each of these two players. And a third scorer, perhaps, right. that will be able to help them out, either Ostero or Tis. Panaga. Panaga again. Kita mo, may tiin yung uh, palo niya sa gitna. Right. Seven points on four attacks for Pants. Gia Morada de Guzman, the reigning best setter, redeeming herself after a double touch was called against her earlier. So giving uh, Panaga that quick set to score the first point of this third set. EJ receiving. Tintin from the back. Again, read well. This time by Banks. Panaga. Right Nine now. For Panaga. Oh, that is her third block. If I'm not mistaken, all on Dindin Santiago Manabat. So far, Manabat has been the kryptonite of Dindin in this match. They cannot win this match with Dindin only scoring three. That is. The obvious. Unless EJ comes alive here in this set. She's trying to. Uh -huh. Nabora has been trying to raise her confidence by trying to give her early looks. Takoron is in for the front line oh, oh. for Coach A. It's EJ. Enjoy Takoron and Din Din Santiago. Right Sorry, there, Takoron. of course, at the back. Pero alam naman natin kaya niya umatake mula sa likod. Gia to Tots, Lubusot sa block. Maika will set it up for EJ. EJ, her familiar cross court attack. Valdez is checked at the net. Pinigay sa kabila kay Tots on the opposite. Dindin was there. Jasmine inside to Dakoron. Inabol ni Ortiz, Nabor. Another long rally here. And somebody scraped the net. It is EJ. She acknowledged it right away. Well, kahit na pumunta sa Cool Smashers, at least may kita mo defensively. Better ang galaw dito ng crossovers. Buhay na buhay. At uh, in terms of offense, pati si Labor, umaatake na rin. Playing, uh, feeling desperate right now. It says an urgency. Kitang-kita mo. Ramdam na ramdam mo. Alam naman natin nagsimula rin na sa attacker din naman yes. si Jasmine. One so. of the tallest setters that you can see. Go to EJ this time. That's it. Scrapes the net. EJ coming alive. Conference best so far for EJ Lare. A nine-point performance, I believe, against Signal. Followed by a six-point game against F2. Down to one point versus Shokomucho. Had three points versus Army. For a total of 19 points throughout this open conference. Former UAP season 77 rookie of the year. Coming back to her mother team with a different name. But the same franchise, a team that she joined in 2016. Right. Now she comes back. She came back 2019 again, and then now 2022 as a pro. She turned um, pro. Decided to forego her uh, playing year for UST. No? Which could be actually two years oh, yes. back. So she, the, the possibility to play 84 and season 85. She nah, will be forego. on the same year, which in is this year. year. Yeah. And she turned pro exactly January 28th. 2022, when the announcement was made that EJ Laure will turn pro now, and she will serve with her team ahead, six to four. What a good start for the crossovers. This allowing, uh, not allowing, rather, the Smashers from building an early lead. Oh, wide on that delivery. Five serving six. And it's in the hands of the three time PVL champ. That's out. Kita mo sa dinik mo palang tayo dito. Dinik natin yung tama sa bola. A little bit of a miss hit for Dinik Alam na alam mo, oh, na mahaba. Hindi pa baba. Hindi pa haba. Tapla tayo ngayon. Six all. Go to EJ. Shy Nice. Perfect set for her. Right. And now the board is uh, forcing the defense of the Ghost Smashers to guess kung sinong pupuntahan niya. Just try to activate, really, 
Hindi lang si Manapa at si Pat. O ngayon, <laughs> lahat na pinupuntahan niya. Hoping that somehow they can deliver. And in this set so far, they have. Looking at Mylene Pat at the sideline, Coach Ronnie, she's warming up. She's hopping on that uh, ankle that she rolled a little bit. So That's a good sign. Yeah, always a good sign. 7-6. Make that 7-all on the slide play. And the middle blockers of the goal smashers have come out ready to play. Cel Domingo did that in the first set. Pang Spalaga took over in the second set. And here in the third set, Cel Domingo scores her first point. Tied at 7. Domingo, I believe, now with a total of 8 in the match. Dalawa in double figures para sa goal smashers. Nice serve. Ortiz, mahaba na naman. Try to go for a check. Try to score off the block. Yung delivery Kaya na rin medyo kanya eh. Ginawa niya ng paraan. Pero hindi ko magat. Lumamang na naman ang team line dito. Getting into our first technical timeout. Set number three. PL 2022 Open Conference is available on One Sports and in a high definition on One Sports Plus Signal TV Channel 261. Sherwin Manessis and the rest of Green Line ahead by one. And speaking of the coach, let's find out more about him from Alexis Tinsai. Coach Sherwin Manessis knows the skills of the Cool Smashers and he is confident na malayo ang mararating nila at maganda ang magiging malaro nila for this quarterfinals. The only catch is kailangan daw nilang tanggalin yung errors nila, lalo na yung service received. If they limit their errors, then there will be a free flowing game. As seen in these sets, they have been trying to minimize errors as they have their momentum for their end game to sweep off this set. Let's see if they will. Let's return to the panel. Right now, I or Alexis, we are tied at eight all. Set number three. Premier Cool Smashers on the attack. Pudding digs it up. Din Din over, trying to avoid the hands of the blockers, but just couldn't get enough spin to make that ball to drop. Ini was na niya kasi. Conscious na. No? Oh, oh. At kahit na wala sa equation si Panaga. Masuk na sa isip niya, but she needs to turn things around. We talk about just trying to go for her usual attack ways. What a time for Dindin to struggle on offense and on quarterfinals, pa. Fighting for your life, Coach Ron. Pero by design yan, dal dalawa talaga yung uh, gustong uh, shut down ng Nakul Smash. Siyempre, yan ang number one priority mo ba Bawasan mo lang yung puntos, malaking bagay na eh. Oh, way underneath the ball was Jasmine Amor. And now the lead is two for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. So Mylene Pat will check back in for Dindin. Din. Santiago Manapat. Dindin Din, who uh, played for Torre Arrows and uh, the Kurube. Sa Japan, uh, Nadia. Yeah, uh, Aquaferis, <laughs> those two Japanese teams. And sa Nakon Rach Rach Rachasima, Cuban VC. Cuban CVC in Thailand. Nakasaman, netong si Mylene Paat. Third straight. Third straight attack error para dito si Cherry Tugo. Forces the hand of Coach Veles to call another timeout or a timeout. They're down by three at 11-8. natin. <laughs> Yan ang sinasabi ko pag tayo hindi tumutulong, yung pressure na bibigay sa iba. O ngayon ha, tulong tayo. Ladies, out of system, out of system. Saan natin nalagay yung bola? Dito, sa inside. Ito tayo magano ha? Kapit tayo, come on, come on. So just to do it and you find it a little strange and disorienting that the fans are here while we made that announcement nung last game pa lang that 
Uh, the fans would be back starting the quarterfinals. Balik po tayo dito sa Philo and Flying Kanina B Center. Sila, diba? Kanina, Kanina pa. And I came in early, ah, and nandito na sila. Mas maaga pa silang dumating. <laughs> Sabi. Nasulit naman dahil kanina nanalo ang signal. HD Spikers Tapos pasok na sa semifinals no? over Bali Pure. Kala ko work from home sila. <laughs> <laughs> work from the arena pala. Oo. Oh. So balik arena na oh. ang mga fans. And fourth straight attack error for Jerry Tigo. And Creamline is looking to pull away here in set number three. 8-7 was the score as we reached the first technical timeout. It's been a 4-1 Surge once again generated by the Coast Masters. Actually, Lachon attack errors ng uh, right. crossovers. Oh, yeah, apat. Sunod sunod. Sa kanila galing. Mm. Ah, niyan ang depensa. Netong uh, cream line. Maika, nalunod ng bagya dun sa kanyang running. EJ, who? Oh. Nagawa ng paraan. Mishaya. Chama, Galanza. And eventually, it is Dodge Carlos getting the point. What an effort, by the way, by Buding Duremdes. Let's just yes. say that. Taking that Gemma Galanza attack. But the point will still go to Creamline on another part of this run, which is ongoing, Coach Ronnie. This is the last time, so to speak, para sa Cherry Tugel. Yeah, for because sure. That attempted breakaway is, is happening. Look at Rachel Ostera trying to Get that fighting spirit of the defending champions going. As Gia Morado, sorry, Gia de Guzman sends it to the net. Again, they have the propensity to have those service errors because they risk, they really have a high risk, high reward mentality pag getting sa kanilang mga service. And you can't argue, you're 3 0, you're 2 2-0 in the quarterfinals so far and looking for a th another sweep. And that's the first line of offense and they'll take yeah. it. Yeah, of course. Hinabol. Oh. And uh, Cherry Tigo oh. will set to Ostero back to De Guzman who recovered right away. Carlos is checked. It's not over actually. Two straight points. Sherwin is uh, complaining to Bobby Celso. <laughs> Pero... Not over, ang sabi ni first referee. So, two straight points, as Coach Ronnie mentioned. The re-entry of Ostero has uh, fired them up a little right, bit. Right, right. Shaya Dorador. Bump set to Tots. That's another one that they're going to award. Three straight points. Tama ba ako, Coach? Tama. Three straight points? Tama. 13-8 kanina yan. And then, a series of attack errors para naman dito sa Cool Smashers. Pick for top, ika nga. Baba talaga. It's a net block. Back in the hunt, ang uh, crossovers. Shaya, who served well in the finals last year and received well also. Para sa kanila. And Ostero has been the spark. Whether it's from an energy standpoint, a spirit standpoint that even there, very the points, yeah. Maglaro, eh. yep. Mas kini, tagal siyang nilabas, makikita mo. Along the sidelines, he was always enthusiastic. Lead down to one. Libero, Gemma, nandito. Eh, hindi sa Libero yan. Hindi magkamali siya, problema niya na yun. Pag makareceive ka dito, wala ka nang attack eh. Alam naman natin dito, pupunta yung bola eh. Di ba? Okay na. Wala na yun ha. The Creamline fans now trying to do the same externally, trying to bump Ay, up the crowd. Oh, na baka might come into play. Liza Valdez, EJ Laure, almost at the middle of set number three of our quarterfinal number two on match day number nine. Back set. And a great timeout by Coach Sherwin Meneses, who's had a very long connection with Gemma Galanza already, all the way back to their Adams and Dex. When they were down at 13 8, referring to the crossovers, called, Coach Meneses called timeout. And uh, his team responded. Ito naman, sinagot. 
it was the turn earlier, or rather, nitong uh, si Coach Earl Meneses to call ceasefire dahil nakabalik na yung kalaban. Dig pass, pump set, and Mylene unable to put it away. Eliza saw an opening, cuts it through, and puts it away. I'll say this again and again, one of the best closers of the game. A three-time PBL MVP may have been silent, is playing, been playing tough defense, but when they need her to score, she's always able to deliver two straight points back away to three-point lead for team line. Ostero, not good enough this time. Dots twists in the air. Oop. They open up to EJ on a shoot pass. Sinibat ni Nabor dun sa kabila. Uh, good play called, or uh, rather delivered by Nabor para dito kay Lare, who was really been so effective here in the third set. A little faster on that set oh, this oh. time. So hindi naka recovery <laughs> block. Ostero starting. Those are the numbers. Cherry gets a chance to attack, but Masakit they yan. over. Masakit yan. Pakasakit yan. It was a poor reception on the part of the Cold Smashers. And then suddenly, turned into a free point for team line. Three point lead, second technical timeout. Live champions for life. Exciting na ang mga laban sa pagbabalik ng UAP. Panore na mga UAP Season 84 Men's Basketball doing uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday live sa One Sports and sa UAP Varsity Channel available on Signal TV Channel 263 HD and on Signal Play. Kyle Atienza with 11 excellent digs. As the celebrities are out watching here at the Phil Oil Flying V Center, more than 2,000, almost 2,300 fans today in the quarterfinals. Expect more when we go tomorrow at Choco Mucho and F2 all seeing action, of course, with uh, PLD team all coming back for the quarterfinals. And of course, Papuntang uh, semifinals where the best of the best now will start meeting. Right. They talk about the best of the best. The face of Philippine Volleyball once again rising to the occasion. Even against the triple block, Valdez will be able to score. Back to a three-point lead for the Cool Smashers. What you're telling me with the improvement of everybody, with the improvement of everybody in Creamline since last year, it allows her to pick her spots and not always try to go for 20, 20, 30. Hindi overwork, yeah. diba? Yeah. Oh. So, mayon, the quarterfinal, semifinals. Bomba ka na. That was an attack error once again for Mylene Paat. Now it's uh, back to a four-point advantage for the Cold Smashers. Slowly closing in, as you see Coach O right behind, scouting the opposition. Oh, nice. Dacoron. That was a good quick play for middle hitter Joy Dacoron. Lead down to three for the Cold Smashers. Malaking bagay pag maganda yung first ball mo talaga. Petrogas Angels with a twice to beat advantage tomorrow against F2 in our second game, of course, who are quietly going through the competition. I know it might be Under to some people radar. dark horse at all, uh, coach, with Ito all of yan. the fancy teams. Sa build up nila, di ba? Grab mm -hmm. build up. Chance here for Creamline. They open up to Baldo. Ay, sinungkit ni Joy. Nang hinayang si Nabor because she was already there she for coverage. She was there for coverage, for coverage. Oh. Oh. Pero reflex action yun ni Joy Dacoron. Morada. Rather, uh, the Guzman and Valdez, how many times have we said that in the course of the last 10 years? 
That's a good point. We'll get back to that in a bit. Makinig muna tayo dito. Okay. 19-15 is our score. You know, you, you talked about the De Guzman now. The De Guzman uh, <laughs> uh, Valdez connection. They produced five championships together, both pro and college. And I, you know, just asking them, you know, what's this connection? And they said they, they just speak the same volleyball language. And uh, th that's why their connection is, is deep. And also, they've gone through so much personally, like uh, off and on the court, good and bad, yes. that has really enhanced their, their bond, they said, their connection. Lifetime na yan, eh. She said also, as an endorsement, sabi ni Eliza, Gia would make a great coach someday. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Valdez, a little short. Or actually, way short but on the But that is getting attack. too far of ourselves sa ngayon. Because sa ngayon, eh. Itong uh, cool smashers na naniwala na itong dalawa ay magiging integral sa kanilang kampanya. Kaya nga sabi niya, someday. 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 Huwag yeah. mo muna akong iwanan, sabi yeah. niya. <laughs> Pero hindi nagpapaiwan ng crossovers. Buhay na buhay. Down two. Like this man. Uh, Gemma Galanza not fully forcing that attack in just the right velocity through the block yeah, going down the line. We talked about the development and maturity of Domingo, Thomas Carlos. Zema Galanza is bound to play for the national team. And the MVP na dito sa MVP PBL. Na sa PBL. And uh, she has really developed into just a superb attack weapon para dito sa Pool Smashers. Has been a part of a, a title run already. Yep. Para sa cream line. Yeah, All is still alive. Sweet. Ang sakit. Napakasakit. I think that is the story of the match so far. It was a point waiting to happen. It might be the swing part of this set, Coach Ronnie, because now it's 21-17. Ito na yung tinatawag na may kotig scoreboard pressure na itong Cherry Tigo. At ayaw mo nang tignan yan. Gusto mo lang makabalik. Nabor will set it to Pat. Pat will score. On that one, so 21-18. Serve will go to Mylene Pat. Her team is down three. 18. Serving 21 in this quarterfinal match and the rematch of last year's finals. It's a good serve by Mylene. So the ball is on the side of Cherry Tigo, and they're looking for a check, and Bobby Celso awards that check. As Shia Adorador gets their team down just by two, Coach Sherwin calls this timeout. Panapos tayo. Yes, Sino mag-receive ng maayos, te lamang. Yes, Coach. So enjoy natin yung receive. Okay, Coach. Oh, akin to, akin to. Okay, pag na receive na, bala na si Gia doon. Okay po. Okay? Yes, coach. Tiwala sa atake. Execution tayo, ha? Execute tayo na maganda. Atin na tuloy! 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 Coach Ronnie, ano yung ibig sabihin ni Sherwin Meneses pag sinabi niyang enjoyin natin yung receive? Unang-una, kailangan mo ka-receive sila na maayos. Pangalawa, para maka-atake sila. You have to embrace the moment dahil Atake yung service eh, paat eh. Sigurado mabigat yan. Kalanza will get it back after receiving the ball. And another great timeout by Coach Sherwin. 22-19 is the score. There are so many great individual performances by different players. That has the luxury of Gia de Guzman. Dami pwedeng puntahan. Oh, giving them some food. Letting everybody eat so far in this three sets. Bump set again to Gemma. Puding was there. Adorador sumagot. Easily taken by Eliza. Back set. Paat sends it back. De Guzman to Panaga. 
De Guzman shooting it to Galanza, who is rejected at the net. That's toughness on the part of the crossovers. Several times, go smashers try to go for point number 23. With the crossovers defense holding fourth. They're still behind, but only by two points. Shia serving this one. 20 serving 22. That's oh. out. That is an expensive error for Cherry Tigo. And this in this, this type of a match where you're behind by two sets. Down by maskina maliit na ganitong margin. Pero sa dulo na, you can't afford a service error. Balanza with the numbers. Good serve. The ding. Receives. EJ attacks. Puts it away. They're not going away just yet. Down two. The crossover is really banked heavily on EJ Lara here in the third set. Her stellar play here in the third set enabled the crossovers to build another go-to scorer, another wing spiker that will generate points for them, especially since Santiago Malabat has not been able to find their scoring groove. A three out of ano, 20 yata to see uh, Din Din. EJ again! Breathing down the necks of the cream line cool smashers. Match point is not an easy thing to get right now. Para dito sa Cool Smashers. Yeah. Labor, Laure, and the rest of the crossovers only behind by one at this stage of the third set. No Din Din Santiago Manabat on the floor, who is, yes, as I said, 15% today in terms of her attacking. And Tots Carlos sends it wide. Boy pa, 23 all to the delight. On the crowd here at the Phil Oil Fly V Center. And she could hardly miss in the first set. At one instance, about 8 out of 10. Right now, about 12 points for Caloy Carlos. Three straight points para dito sa crossovers. Ostero once again. Very stable, very able. Big, big help for Coach Velas. Here comes the crowd. Atienza. Palikay Carlos. Access denied. Set point for the defending champs. I look at the reaction of the crossover followers. There's not a lot of them, but they are trying to make some noise here, Coach Ronnie. There's not a lot in the venue, I mean, compared to the Cream Line fans, but they are as noisy right now. They're very happy. Yes. One point away from pushing this match into a fourth set. Dakaron getting the job done, scoring of that offensive block. Pressure serve. Valdez, a chance for Cherry Tigo here. EJ, no, one more. Jasmine, and we are going to a fourth. Let's look at this again. Coach Ronnie, take us through it. Unbelievable result for the crossovers. Laure, Austero, Paat, Takoron, Adorador, and of course, this young lady, Jasmine Labor, keeping the crossovers alive. And we will go into a fourth. The comeback queens of last year's Why BBL not? Open Conference, Kuma Kapit, winning a set and extending us to an exciting fourth set in the quarterfinals.
The Cold Smashers won the first two sets handily. Seven point margin of victory in the first set. More convincing win in the second set. But in the third set, it was a totally different story. Coach Aaron Velez chose a different unit to provide the last time for Cherry Tigre. They were down, but not out. And in the end, it boiled down to their big fighting hearts. Able to build on their defensive intensity, doubling their effort. The blocking came out. Rostero was a very positive reinforcement for this unit. Several attack errors nearly, nearly derailed their fight back, but in the end, it was also attack errors that hurt the chances of the Gold Smashers to sweep the charity go crossovers, even after Eliza scored the 23rd point para dito sa Team Line Gold Smashers. That was the closeout point for the crossovers, courtesy of Jasmine the Boar, as we are now going to our fourth set. Breathing life into this uh, Cherry Tigo campaign. The defending champions not go away quietly. Give, their self, give themselves an opportunity to keep fighting, to extend their life here in the Open Conference. They were already flatlining earlier on and then just dug deep and came back to the delight of the more than uh, 2,300 fans. What a way for them to come back. We're watching some quality volleyball here in the PVL 2022 Open Conference. And we begin with a Joy Dacoron quick attack. Perfectly executed play. It's the bench delivering for Coach A here, EJ Dacoron. And now, service received is becoming a problem for the Cool Smashers, who were just really rolling here in this match. And all of a sudden, Confidence now, high, para dito sa Cherry Tigo. Another good attack by EJ. Coach, patituloy ngayon ang kumpiyansa sa depensa. Umaangat, pati yung mga dig, pati yung mga mahirap na pick-up na kukuha na nila. And that's all part of this this spirit to the comeback. And you gave credit to Rachel Ostero earlier, yes, EJ yes. Laure, yung mga... Unsung heroes. Totoo yan. And uh, they came out ready to play. Ganong kasimple. The drops. Four straight points for a 4-0 lead. Charitigo picking up where they left off in the third set. Did, and the comeback wins are very much alive. Didn't we say we've seen so many things happen and strange things volleyball happen? Volleyball can just, it's such a beautiful sport, Cody, that it just can twist and change in a second Agreed. with a couple of plays, you know? Just when you feel that you're comfortable already. And if there's any team that knows that, it is Dreamline. That's what they were last year, right? Oh! Oh! Collision! Puding and Shia, maybe they didn't carry Negan because of the pain and here in our venue, Coach Ronnie. That was a point generated by the Cool Smashers. Let's see if they will be able to string up consecutive points after losing grip of that uh, third set. That's best description right there, I know. They lost grip on it. That's not over. Two straight points. Jai Dakaron also had some critical contributions At for the crossovers. Siya rin yung unang puntos dito kanina. On a quick attack. Naiba yun, no? Naiba bigla eh. Dynamic at saka yung energy. Mas mabilis yung unit nila ngayon sa loob. It's nothing like fighting for your lives, no? Oh, naman. <laughs> it brings out yan an pinaka, element of desperation. Yan ang pinakamahirap kalaban. <laughs> ganda nung adjustment ni Mylene. Pero ang ganda pa rin ng pagkabigay kay Baldo. Kaya lang, uh, short on that one. So, a 5-5. To advantage. We talked about the top three players in terms of attack efficiency. 
Carlos Valdez and Galanza. Nine. That has been key to their three straight wins to sweep their pools. But so far from the third set onwards, up to this point of the fourth set, may kita mo, sumasablay na rin kahit paano ka. First two sets, bihiram bihira. That's why when you have the opportunity to finish off Correct. a match, gusto mo ka agad, ano? We say it and we see it so many times in sports. Pag nabuhayan, iba. Umiiba minsan eh. Paa, tries again. Oh, good coverage by Tots. Wow, what a job by Puting here. That is why. Nakabalik na rito ang Cool Smashers. Dalawa kanilang hinahabol. But the crossovers are suddenly a different team. Pants Panaga. Nabor. And Paat sa kabila rolls it to the other side and scratches that line. With a good first ball, Nabor is able to go to their top hitter. If you just missed or you just tuned in, by the way, Mylene Paat rolled that left ankle earlier and was taken to the bench for a while. Naibalik naman, pero nakikita natin konti, no? Inaalalayan niya ng konti sa lakad. That is important, nakabalik. And uh, the fortress that was the reception efficiency in the Pulse Masters in the first two sets has suddenly been breached. The Co pressure is on. And this is all happening without Dindin Santiago Manapa. Right, 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 right. Pero may pressure na eh. Kanina lahat madali. Ngayon, wala nang madali. Oh, what a waste. Because that was not totally in system para sa cream line, pero sumayad yung kamay ni Rachel Ostero sa net. Uh, now is the turn of the coach Mashers to try and uh, make a run. Uh, recalibrate. Mm. Uh, they got luck in that last instance mm. para makapuntos dito, pero nagahabol pa rin sila ng tatlo. Apat ang pinakamalaki Tama. in this set. Puding, good first ball. Nice set. That is a nice set, but it's still alive. EJ, Jasmine, binalik kay Shaya. Eliza, running attack. Sliding through, Isa Domingo, cutting the lead down to two. This was the point of attack that was used time and again by Zia de Guzman. Ito yung uh, bali kanina. What a pick up there by both Tots and yes. Gemma to save that one. Lalo, attack mode na talaga itong Cherry Tigo eh. Yung kanang kamay na abot ni Gemma, ang ganda. Mababa para kay Ostero, pero nagawa ng paraan. Chance for Cherry Tigo. Puding sends it to Mylene. Mylene! Return to sender. The lead down to one now. Good scoring run, 6-3. After being down at 4-0, this will be a total of 7 against 3. In terms of counter, counter run for the Cool Smashers. They had 5 kill blocks in that second set win. Aiming to, aim to generate more against the, the firepower that they are out here Charity Go. That is out. It sails out. But they're asking for a check. Non given by Bobby Celso. So it's seven all, four point lead erased. Rabe hinabol dito ng Cool Smashers. It's a good thing they were able to stabilize right away. Good first ball. Mylene. This time, Iniwasan. Linihis ng konte yung palo. And. If I'm not mistaken, Coach Ronnie, for the first time, we enter a technical time huh? with Cherry Tigo ahead. My mean Paat targeting that right hand to get the point. 8-7, we'll be back.
Champion 2022 Open Conference is also available on Smart Giga Play. Look at that. This is right behind me and Coach Ronnie. Kaya hindi ko marinig si Coach Ronnie kadalasan. <laughs> Dahil dyan. And honestly, it is music to my ears, Coach Ronnie. It's been a while. <laughs> Pat getting this rally going. Leading by one. Not anymore. Eileen Pat coming off a 20-point game against the Lady Troopers. That's her best cutting output here so far. One win in this conference so far. One win to keep them alive. Yes. And that got them in the quarterfinals. Yep. But they need to win twice. Pat from behind. Chance ball, BB guy to the defending champions. Nabor will go for the second ball put away. Not successful. Ostero with a power tip. Coach Perfect. Sherwin is asking for a violation. A catch and throw, but not called. So that's 9-8. Well timed by Rachel Ostero. Once again, able to generate a vital point for the crossovers and that quick play. If they win, I believe the game will be on Wednesday. If there's an extension. If I'm not mistaken, Agad. I'll confirm that, but I think that's the schedule. Agad, Agad, no? Gemma Galanza scores. Galanza attacking Mylene Pat's defense. This is really a nip and tuck affair here in the fourth set. Probably ito na yung pinaka-tight na set na nakita natin. Of course, syempre, nakahabol lang uh, crossover since uh, previous set, pero... Down sila ng mga lima ron eh. Right, tama, tama. So it is confirmed, Coach Ronnie, that right Wednesday there. will be the game. Biggest problem for those mashers, this young lady, DJ Laure. It's good to see her back, isn't it? I mean, just yes. playing volleyball and she looks like she's in shape. She played a couple of games in the, in the UAP and that's it. We won't see her again in the UAP with her sister. The next time we probably will see them together. Tito. They'll be, yeah, Tito na. professionals. <laughs> Gemma That's with great. the ability to just stay in the air an extra split second. Let's take a look at that last sequence again. Against the double block over the two blockers. Coverage was not there. Tied once again at 10. Ang ganda panorin yung mga ganong lutang, ano, Coach? Pero ngayon, kanina, puro power hits para sa full smashers. Diba ngayon, kailangan na silang bumasa dahil nag-improve na ang defensa ng crossovers. That's... Oh, I thought that was gonna go out. So now it's a chance ball for Creamline. Gemma again. Puding was there. And Creamline will take the lead. Dorendes and Abor. Working doubly hard to keep that ball alive. Gemma Galanza, once again, finding that gap in the double block, going cross court. Now, credit has to go to Budding here in this uh, oh, no match. Man. Almost single handedly keeping. The floor defense alive for Cherry Tigo. Totoo yan. Kailangan talaga binanggit natin at top of the coverage. She has to be a workhorse. Dito sa back line. Another one. Oh! Oh, that's out. out. Unbelievable sequence of events. Kanina nakita natin yan. Nag-ricochet yung bola. Pumabor sa full smashers. Defensive scramble para dito. Oh, what a save by EJ Larry. Twice, Coach Roddy. Twice she got a hand on that. The first and third this. ball. Unbelievable. This crowd. What a lucky, <laughs> what a lucky crowd to be watching. The effort of all these girls here. 11 all. First day of the week. Bad. Nobody home. This what is a, a totally match. different crossover unit that we're seeing. Determined, persistent, and they're playing on all cylinders. Hindi naman, 
Hindi naman madali yung mga kinukuha nilang puntos eh. Tinatrabaho nila. And now they have put the Cold Smashers on their heels, so to speak. The body language is drastically different. Having said that, we're far from over here. As Bang Spanaga goes for the run and gun. In double figures, Bang Spanaga. Conference best production so far. She was at her best in set three. Unfortunately, hindi nila na close out. Tied at 12 once again. Gemma will do the honors. Sent back to cream line. Atienza will set Carlos. And too much power behind that one. She's been quiet for a Very while. Very quiet. Very quiet. And let's see if uh, Coach Carlos will be able to recover. As she was a wrecking wing spiker dun sa unang set. Pero natahimik, lalo sa nakalipas sa third set. Oh, time out si Coach Aaron here. Kapag ganun ba ako nag-break? Very offensive sila. Okay. Now, kailangan natin ngayon. Uh, towards the end of that timeout, you see Coach A saying, Wala tayong naririnig, ha? Kayo kayo lang mag-usap. Dahil na sabi natin, oh, you, have to shot off. Na yung ano, no? you have to shut off whatever distractions that there are. And that's hard. It's easier said than done. Easier said than done, but for experienced players, they can navigate through the noise. Especially so that this could be the final stand for them. We haven't seen Dindin Santiago Manabat in a while. As this serve goes wide. So that not ultimately was a great timeout because it totally iced Gemma Galanza also and got them a point. Uh, the mistakes that we have seen from the Cool Smashers in the last set and a half, we never saw in the first two sets. But now, yung pressure na nilagay sa kanila ng crossovers because they elevated their level of play, nagkakaroon na ng pagkakataon na magkamali ang kalaban. Very productive, EJ Lauren. Win or lose, I was just about to say credit to EJ for being ready, staying ready, Coach exactly. Ronnie. Plus Carlos, two in the fourth set. About 14 points for Plus Carlos, who came up with eight first set points. Morado, with this bump set. Overjoy the Coron. One point, one point lang tayo dito, Coach. Wala nang scoring run. Side out, side out lang, ang laban. Ayan, ayan, ayan na na. Side out, side out. <laughs> Long umpisa, 4-0, 7-4. Kung tumuway tayo sa first technical timeout, 8-7, palitan na lang. Rachel Mustero's back in the lineup. And that augurs well para dito sa crossovers. Palitan Ooh. na naman. This time, ng service errors. Giveaway, giveaways. Pero para kay Coach Velas, basta dikit, gusto niya yan. Siyempre. Especially after the first two sets. Masyadong uh, umalago, ano? May sampung puntos tayo, no, coach? Second set yun. Yeah. Mostero again. Bumalik na naman sa kanya. She extends. Third attempt. Oh! Ooh. Miscommunication there. Agawan. Gigil ng konti, coach. Tignan natin kung uh, makikita natin uli yan. That was almost a point waiting to happen para dito. The crossovers. A credit Kyla Atienza for keeping that point alive too. Oh, nasangga ni Gia. Gia. So credit Gia for that one because now they have some breathing room. 16-14. Fourth set.
JVL 2022 Open Conference is available on One Sports and in high definition on One Sports Plus, Signal TV, Channel 261. You know the perfect description that we heard from the audience on Time Out, Coach Ron? What's that? It's a lot stress. I think... I think we have a first timer in the audience, Coach Ronnie, right behind us. We're dancing. Ito yung, 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 yung good stress. Oh, oh, naman. Oh, oh pero yung realization niya, no, na watching this live is good, of course, but stressful because <laughs> it is so exciting. Yung up and down ng emotions, yes. probably ang uh, dinidescribe. Oh. Pero yung enjoyment, na daming kusuhan mamaya. Oh. Oh. Tawa siya na tawa, napatingin ako sa kanya. <laughs> Nakastress pala to. <laughs> But in a good way, of course. We're all stressed and enjoying this one. As this one sails out, there's no check ball. So two straight points, yeah, Coach Ronnie. Correct. An attack error. Or two attack errors, rather. Para dito sa Cool Smashers. Again, reminding everybody, Creamline Cool Smashers has the twice-to-beat advantage in this quarterfinal matchup. Layug sends it. What a serve by Layug. Puting. Layog from behind. Balik kay Baldo. And the Boar's right hand could not keep it in play. Off the block point for Alaysa Valdez. She Three will go. PBL MVP. Trying to help out the Good Smashers secure their fourth title in PBL history. 27 2016, she played Thailand for the 3BB Nakhorn North. And in 2017, in Taiwan, for the Attack Line Club team. What a block. Was that Gia? That was Cel Domingo. Cel Domingo, okay. Kanina pa sila inaatake at uh, pinupunto sana Rachel Ostero. Finally, so, they put a stop to the scoring race of Ostero. Two, 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 two straight eight. points. Oh, oh. Yan ang scoring run so far. Mini scoring runs. Shia adjusting in midair. That ball was slowed down by the tip of Cel Domingo. Nakaabang na sana si Gemma Galanza. Look at her just cock it back like she was going to go for it. And then perfect clearance, perfect feathery touch. Cut the lead down to one. And she serves now 17 to 18. Gia. Chance here for Cherry. Hinabol ni Nabor. Too risky. And Mylene Paat, who's still trying to get her shoes on. Coach Aaron wants her to come yes, in already. Yes, yes. But oh. her socks are not on on her left foot. Nag-retain kaya? Oh, parang eh. Kasi yun yung na, na roll Kaya magta-timeout oh, na lang oh. si Coach Aaron. Isusugal na niya. Kasi pag lumaki pa to, mahirap na yes, mabunin. Yes, you're right. And that might be his last one. Maybe. I think Most so. Probably. I think so. Kasi so, susugal na niya. He has... He had to call the timeout to give Mylene. If we can get uh, a shot of Mylene Pat right now, she's down there. They're trying to get her shoes back on. Ayun. Two point lead, which is a luxury at this point as Mylene now will hobble back into the match with a two-point deficit for the defending champions who have to win to have another chance to play on Wednesday. What a serve by Cayetano! What a serve! That's the serve setting it up. And just a presence of mind once again for Gia Murado de Guzman to activate Managa, look at this play, delaying, locating, and helping out the Full Smashers post their biggest lead. Sa ating fourth set, tatlong puntos. Three points, all right. Oh, Phil has been so steady. Ayan na naman, eh? So steady. Phil, by the way, was the one who finished off the first set with two straight good serves, and now doing it again. And that is not an easy assignment. Not at all. Grab and pressure Jan to service line to deliver. Julia Angeles now is sent into the, the match to take that first ball. Not so fast as EJ Laure. 
Back in the hunt. This, this is where they made their move nung set number 3. 23-20. No? Oh, Kinaya pala, nila pabalik. Hindi pa pala yun. Oo, oh, dahil ma-match po ito yung hinahatak dito. Scoreboard pressure. Saka, yeah. Sa palo nagkamali ang full smash. Sunod-sunod. Apat kasunod yun. Naging lima. And this was the girl who was serving too. All right. Rachel Ostero. Very steady. Let's see if they're gonna repeat that. Oh, just as I say it. Welcome back. Four point lead. Biggest and largest. Four points clear. Three points away. No more timeouts Yun for, problema. for Coach A. Oh, yun ang kaibahan. Yung rally nila ron, galing sa timeout kanina. The girls have to figure it out on their own yes. right now. Eliza. Jasmine. Oh, I saved by Cherry Tigo. Gemma Galanza. Again, it is EJ who saves that one. Bad from behind. Gia goes to Pans. Julia sets it to EJ. Sent back. Nabor, back to EJ. That's good effort coming from Carlos. And on transition, cream line goes to Tots. Defense to offense for Tots, Carlos. Five points ahead. And only a point away from their first match point. It's in the hands of Gia de Guzman. Gets us going for this rally. Takoron saves a point there, 23-19. Takoron, presence of mind, beating Pams Panaga. Very calm and composed, Joy Takoron. Do they have another comeback? At ito yung isa sa mga pahirap din sa... Reception, oh, oh sa reception right. of those mashers to Jasmine Labor. Could serve again. Dots. Match point. One more point to get them to the semifinals, which I believe will begin on Friday. Dots, Carlos shut down in the third set. Dots Carlos coming alive here in the fourth set. And this is the luxury that Greenline has, Ronnie. They have so many weapons. Five match points for the Cool Smashers. That's one of them. Gemma Galanza and her serve. Chance ball for Creamline. Panaga sends them to the semifinals. To the delight of the 2,300 strong crowd here at the Phil Oil Flying V Center. And the reigning champs are dethroned. We will have a new champion in the 2022 PVL Open Conference. Sherry Tigo, gallant fight, especially in that third set. They gave their all. But the loss of Jaja Santiago is the biggest story for them going into this season. And it proves difficult against a well-oiled machine and the best attacking team, Creamline winning in four. And that is the confirmation of the scores. 25-18, 25-14, 23-25, and 25-19. We'll take a break and we'll be back to wrap this baby up.
Smashers, congratulations, Banks, and the rest of the Cool Smashers. Narinig namin kay Coach Sherwin na execution ang pinaka-importante para makamit ang endgame. Anong masasabi mo kapag narinig that Creamline Champions are back? Uh, well, everybody's mindset is uh, makabawi kami. Sobrang importante ng game na to. So lahat talaga nag-perform ng maayos and binigay yung best nila. Kita naman talaga yung best na binigay nyo kaninang four sets. And also, given na dikit na dikit yung sets at saka yung laban sa three and four, ano sa tingin mo yung crucial adjustments ng Cool Smashers for the next coming games? Uh, siguro yung ano, minimize namin yung mga errors namin like sa service and uh, siguro yung ano na din, yung uh, confidence sa uh, defense and ayun. Definitely, mag grow pa yung confidence here with the fans here around. Kaya naman ano yung message mo for them? Uh, thank you sa lahat na sumusuporta sa Filmline family and ayan. <laughs> yes, yan. Congratulations again, Banks, and the rest of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Let's turn back to the panel for more exciting volleyball action. Thank you very much, Alexis, and uh, our you. best player, Banks Banaga. The fourth set was the tightest of them all in terms of how it progressed, uh, Coach Ronnie. Right. Pero bumitao sa dulo itong uh, Team 9 Cool Smash. Oh, oh, it was never easy for the Cool Smashers. They were down 4-0 in the first part of the fourth set. And that first part, actually, hanggang siguro mga 11, 11, 12. Maganda pa yung body language ng Cherry Tigo. Very positive, Maganda. no, Coach? Alam mo, yung, yung lumabas si Mylin pa at doon tumawala ng bahagya eh. Pagbalik niya, nag-ahabol sila. They tried to hold forth. And eventually, yung... yung Yung window na yun, nagatasan ng gusto ng Cool Smashers. Hindi na nila nakawit pa balik eh. Good point. Kasi she had to be taped. Right, right. Probably she felt pain. Kaya napilitan din kumuha ng alang-aling timeout si Coach Perez dahil lumalaki na eh. And that slight change of momentum was enough for a very talented unit to be able to turn things around. And eventually, hindi na nila nakawit pa balik. Well, that talented unit, uh, Coach Ronnie has won four games here. Straight. They got challenged here, just like they were challenged by Petrogas, who were extended them to a five, you know, a ch Gia de Guzman eliminate my lead path and the rest of the defending champions the Cherry Higo crossover shoes means we'll have a new champ here in the 2022 PBL Open Finals. Welcome to the fans again to the Phil Oil Fly V Center and we'll see you back here tomorrow for Coach Ronnie Maxano, Alexis Tinsai, I'm Boom Gonzalez for One Sports and we'll have more of the PBL 2022 Open Conference, the heart of volleyball.